it's a hard thing. It really takes your measure to be a part-time physician. That's not a job you want to do anything less than your absolute best. But one of the things that I think lets me do science better is because I'm a physician. Every question that I've chosen to pursue is deeply informed by what I see in the clinic. Whatever I had learned about an illness during the med school years, it was so much more crystallized when I had a patient in front of me who had it. When I did and I had a face and a set of feelings to connect that to, they just stayed with me so much more. I lead a lab that's now eight people, and we study antibiotic resistance and sepsis. We study both mechanisms of antibiotic resistance. We try to develop molecular diagnostics and apply them to, to patient samples for antibiotic resistant bacteria. And we study the immune dysregulation that occurs in patients with sepsis. I grew up in the Chicago area. I was born in the western suburbs, a town called Naperville, Illinois. My parents were both scientists, and so I'd often go into my mom's lab. I was mostly like bouncing a tennis ball off the walls or doing whatever reading I could do, but I do remember getting the sort of energy of the lab. I don't think it was until junior year in college that I first heard that MD-PhD programs even existed. Pretty much as soon as I heard that, I thought, well, that, that's it, that's what I want to do. Towards the end of my residency, I had a decision to make about where to do fellowship. And I hadn't actually done any genomics at all, but I could see the power of it. And I felt like we need to bring this sort of sequencing technology in, a, in an informed and sort of clever, creative way into the understanding of infections. And the bro was at the forefront. I connected with Deb Hung, who was a core faculty member here at the Broad and eventually my postdoc advisor. And really, it was you know, sitting and chatting with her that got me really excited. We started to drill down into specific projects that could do this in what I thought was a really cool way, not just to understand disease better, but also really to make the full transition from things that we learned at the bench actually affecting patient care. I saw the possibility of that in those conversations. What I've seen of the Broad is absolute cutting edge technologies, but applied to questions uh, that are really fundamentally important to human health. Our societies have been shaped by infections, and I, I find that really fascinating, and I find trying to understand that a really interesting thing.